Hello and welcome to today's video on ants' migration patterns. Let's start the video. Ants are known for their impressive migration patterns, which involve large numbers of individuals moving from one location to another. Here in this video is a detailed explanation of ants' migration patterns. So, if you are new to this channel, then subscribe to my channel for upcoming videos. Seasonal cues. Ant migrations often occur in response to seasonal changes. Factors such as temperature, rainfall, and food availability play a significant role in triggering the migration. For example, during the rainy season, ants may move to higher ground to avoid flooding. While in drier seasons, they may seek areas with more resources. Environmental stimuli. Ants are highly sensitive to environmental stimuli. They can detect changes in temperature, humidity, and light levels, which help guide their migration. They also respond to pheromone trails left by other ants, allowing them to follow a path and maintain a cohesive movement. Mass recruitment. When ants decide to migrate, they often employ mass recruitment strategies. A few scout ants explore potential routes and continuously lay pheromone trails. As they find suitable paths, more ants join in, reinforcing the trails and attracting even more individuals. This mass recruitment behavior enables ants to communicate and coordinate their movement effectively. Orientation and navigation. Ants possess impressive orientation and navigation abilities. They can use landmarks, visual cues, and celestial cues such as the position of the sun or the Earth's magnetic field to navigate accurately. Some ant species can even use the polarization of sunlight to determine direction. Additionally, they have an internal sense of time. That helps them adjust their movements according to the time of day or year. Formation of living bridges. In certain ant species, migration involves the formation of living bridges. When encountering obstacles like gaps, water bodies, or dangerous terrain, ants link their bodies together, creating a flexible bridge that allows the colony to cross safely. This collective behavior and cooperation enable them to overcome challenging obstacles during migration. Division of labor. During migration, ants display a division of labor similar to their everyday activities. Some ants take on the role of scouts, exploring potential routes and assessing the environment for resources and threats. Others act as workers, carrying brood, eggs, larvae, and pupae, and food stores. This division of labor ensures efficient movement and resource management during the migration process. Long-distance migration. Ants can undertake long-distance migrations, sometimes spanning several kilometers. These migrations often involve multiple generations of ants, as the journey may take weeks or even months. Long-distance migrations help ants find new foraging grounds, establish satellite colonies, or escape unfavorable conditions. Species-specific migration patterns. It's important to note that migration patterns can vary among different ant species. Some species migrate in a linear fashion, forming well-defined trails, while others exhibit more dispersed or erratic movement. Additionally, the distance and frequency of migrations can vary depending on the ecological requirements and behaviors specific to each species. Ant migrations showcase their remarkable adaptability and collective behaviors. By studying these patterns, scientists gain insights into how ants respond to environmental changes, find new resources, and establish successful colonies. The study of ant migration can also provide inspiration for optimizing human transportation systems and understanding the dynamics of collective movement. I hope so now you will understand about ants migration patterns. Thanks for watching my content. If you like my content press the like button. And subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon for upcoming videos. Thank you goodbye.